A very good day to you people. My name is Mohit and guys today I'm going to show you how to work with the Lightbox uh, image gallery in Dreamweaver. But before I actually start working with Dreamweaver guys I'll need to work with the Adobe Witcher browser. Although guys there are so many tutorials on YouTube uh, that teach you a different way but I think the way that uh, I have uh, followed here is a much better, is a much simpler, uncomplicated way of doing things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to launch Adobe Widget Browser. Okay. I'm going to double click on the icon. Guys, if you don't have Adobe Widget Browser, you need to go to Adobe's uh, website and uh, download. It should not be more than uh, 2 MB. It will happen very fast. should be a very quick download and installation. Okay, guys, the moment I you know, the launch Adobe Widget Browser, you'll notice that I, I see uh, two buttons here two options here the first one is Adobe Exchange okay which has a list of all the different uh, widgets and uh, these are my widgets these are the widgets that I've uh, already installed onto Dreamweaver so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna locate the Lightbox Gallery widget I'm gonna click on that uh, it'll take a few seconds and uh, then I need to click on this button uh, right at the corner bottom corner which says add to my widgets and uh, you'll notice that it'll tell us to wait for some time and after which widget uh, gets added to Dreamweaver okay so uh, if I open up uh, the widget browser now I'm sorry if I open up the uh, lightbox gallery widget now guys you'll see that uh, we have this default gallery okay let me just click on it and uh, show it to you how it looks like right now All right, uh, we have this orange preset and we have the vertical white preset as well. Looking cool, isn't it, guys? What I want to do is I want to uh, take up this orange uh, preset and then I want to configure it. I want to make my own preset, guys. Okay. Uh, the first thing that I want to do is I wish to change the background to, let's say, a dark gray color. cool then as far as the thumbnails are concerned I want the hover background color to be a little different let's go with the a gray color this time again let's click on the image container box and again the overlay background color I would want it to be a very light gray okay so the theme that I'm getting on to is uh, guys is a grayish kind of a theme okay so I've changed the border color as well. Let me show you a published preview of how things look like right now. Awesome. Very nice. And I'll change the name of this theme from an orange one to a uh, gray. Okay. I'll skip the description guys and uh, then I'll click on this button which says save preset. Now I have my own preset guys. Next what I want to do is I want to click on this button which says save widget files okay Dreamweaver will prompt me to uh, tell it which is the folder in which uh, the widget files should be saved so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna locate my local side folder I've already defined on the desktop a folder called test which is my local side folder I'm gonna select that folder and then I'm gonna say okay all right then I'll click on the close button guys I will then go back to my desktop dig inside my local site folder and inside the local site folder guys all the files needed for the project are there what I need to do is I need to locate a file called lightbox gallery widget gray and I'm gonna right click on that gonna say open with Adobe Dreamweaver CS5 guys uh, the file opens up in Dreamweaver and uh, I'm in the code view right now let me get back to the split view All right and then guys let me show you a published preview in Firefox all very good very nice it says image 205 uh, image 3 of 5, image uh, 4 of 5 and image uh, 5 of 5 then I click on the close button okay guys what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna customize this further I had already customized the preset to make my own preset uh, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head back to Dreamweaver and I wish to customize this further 
all right guys uh, to do that I'll head back to the code view and inside the code view guys notice uh, in the head head of the document guys uh, we have the style sheet and uh, there's a rule out here which is the dot lb gallery now this rule contains the gallery container settings this is by far the most important rule guys by far the most important rule and it's in the head section of uh, the document okay inside the internal style sheet so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tweak this rule slowly and come up uh, with a very nice juicy looking attractive looking gallery the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the width to a 315 I will keep the height auto and uh, let me take a preview in Firefox okay so guys notice that uh, the width has been uh, altered it's been truncated next uh, what I'll do is guys I'll go down and guys if you notice in line number 65 I have a div whose ID is gallery the class is LB gallery and which contains all the list items under the unordered list items basically all the pictures and the thumbnails are right here are right here all the five pictures along with their respective thumbnails are right here guys so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose uh, at least four pictures along with four thumbnails let me copy them so this is the first one this is the second one this is the third one and uh, this is the fourth one so what I've done is I've copied um, four pictures and the respective uh, thumbnails I'm gonna right click and say copy and then I'm gonna paste them guys okay so I'll go below the fifth li item okay and I'm I'm gonna paste the pictures in the thumbnails I'm gonna paste the li items I'm gonna click on the refresh button and then I'm gonna show you a preview in Firefox guys all very nice basically what I did uh, was guys I, I I you know I copied the first the second the third and the fourth picture okay out of these five pictures and I just pasted them uh, in the code uh, below let me uh, click on these pictures and show you how it looks like right now it says image one of nine so the number five changed got changed to nine automatically and everything else just uh, remains just the same very very cool wonderful let me close it up uh, guys uh, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head back to the rule which is the dot LB gallery and uh, thereafter I would want to uh, give it a nice drop shadow so guys I'll be confining myself to Mozilla Firefox only see when it comes to uh, rounded corners and uh, drop shadow we will be using uh, CSS3 and for CSS3 we need to prefix uh, a dash moz dash for Mozilla Firefox a dash o dash for Opera and a dash webkit dash for Safari and Chrome okay but I'll not be uh, coding for either Safari or uh, Chrome or even for Opera I'll be confining myself to Mozilla so I'll be using a dash moz dash and then I'll be saying box shadow in CSS3 we call it box shadow so that's box shadow and then I need to tell uh, how much of the shadow do I want so the first number is the X displacement the second number is the Y displacement and uh, the third number is the blur the blur value the blur distance so that I'll keep it uh, at 10 pixels each and then I need to give the uh, hex code or I can even say black that's good enough uh, let me show you a publish a preview in Mozilla Firefox only guys uh, the way I've written the code it will work only in Mozilla Firefox all right so we have a nice uh, drop shadow here let me head back to Dreamweaver guys if I change this uh, 
dash m o z dash or m o z dash to a uh, uh, dash o dash it will work in opera a dash webkit dash will work in chrome and safari and a dash ms dash will work in internet explorer but again guys there may be exceptions you know it may or may not work again depends on the version usually if you are using the the later versions of uh, the browsers there are good chances uh, that it will work it may or may not work but that's okay if it's it's okay if you don't see the drop shadow but if you do see it's a bonus all very good next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a rounded corners now so I'm gonna say a uh, dash M O Z dash and then I'm gonna write border radius the tooltip uh, the code hinting is really helping me out here guys so I'm gonna give it a rounded corner of, let's say 25 px let's let's make it 20 more subtle and let me take a preview in uh, my preferred browser I think it's the most uh, customizable browser Mozilla Firefox awesome always nice wonderful okay uh, next guys what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that the uh, the box the gallery the picture gallery is uh, kind of centered on the web page so I'm gonna give it uh, I'm gonna give the main rule the most important rule the LB gallery dot LB gallery margin so I'm gonna say margin I beg your pardon I'm gonna say margin left auto semicolon and uh, margin right auto semicolon and let's take a preview in uh, Firefox alright looking very very nice wonderful awesome so guys uh, I hope you like this tutorial and yes guys I forgot to mention that you need to replace these uh, nine thumbnails and their respective bigger pictures with your own and uh, the best way of doing it is uh, let me go back to my uh, local site folder you need to go to your local site folder then you need to dig inside the images folder and here guys what you'll do is you'll you'll add your own thumbnails and your own pictures here okay don't replace these pictures and the thumbnails yet just add your own pictures and your thumbnails out here then uh, you'll need to go back to Dreamweaver and um, in Dreamweaver you'll come off the code view go to split view guys and then you need to select these nine thumbnails one by one let's say you select the first thumbnail and then come down to the uh, properties inspector and in the property inspector guys uh, what you need to do is you need to change the source file of the image and then you need to link it up okay so what you need to do is you can just click on this folder browse for file and uh, locate the right thumbnail and then link it up with the uh, you know the correct corresponding bigger picture like this you just need to select the right picture and say okay alright so that's how uh, you will be replacing uh, these thumbnails the provided thumbnails and the provided bigger pictures corresponding bigger pictures with your own so guys uh, all the best to you i'll see you next time with yet another dream viewer cs5 tutorial or it could be flash with the uh, script 3 bye bye ciao